Cowboy State. Here's a look at this week's top entertainment headlines. Controversy in the country music world. Little Big Town's latest single, Girl Crush, is being pulled from country radio stations across the country after fans complained about the song's lyrics. You might have heard the song on the radio. It's been at the top of the country charts for weeks. And yesterday, a Boise, Idaho station said they could no longer play it because viewers were calling in saying the lyrics promote same-sex couples. Now, the lyrics say things like, I got a girl crush and I want her magic touch. But other radio stations are fighting back, saying they will continue to play the song and don't find it to be a problem. The controversy has been blowing up on social media. And Longmire fans rejoice. A few months ago, we told you AD canceled the Wyoming Bay show, then Netflix picked it up in November. And if you can't wait for a new season, well, production is finally underway. Take a look. Author of the Longmire series, Craig Johnson, posted these photos on Facebook this week. Now, he's not in the movie. He's just the author of the series. But he was on set as the action kicked off on Monday in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Take a look. Here's a sneak peek. The new season will feature Absaroka County Community College, which, of course, is made up. You'll see that and a variety of Wyoming-based concepts in the season. Production goes through the end of June, and you can expect the new season later this fall. But if you can't wait that long, then how about hitting the box office this weekend? The number one movie topping the weekend box office is the Divergent series Insurgent. And its first weekend, it's already grossed $52 million. That's more than the second place movie in its second week, which is Cinderella with $34 million. And third, it's Run All Night. Not far behind and fourth is The Gunman. And rounding out top five is Kingsman, The Secret Service, with $4.6 million in its sixth week. And from movies to movie stars, Will Ferrell is now part of an exclusive club. He finally has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Ferrell celebrated the milestone this week with his family and a few famous friends. And as usual, the comedian tried to go for a few laughs. And Ferrell received the 2,547 star on that Walk of Fame. His new comedy, Get Hard, opened in theaters today. And that wraps up this week's edition of What's the Scoop. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back.